Hey everybody, my name is Derek, and welcome to Phonology Friday. Uh, normally I work at the Brightwater Education Center in Woodenville, but today I'm talking to you from my backyard here in Everett um, on the traditional lands of the Snohomish people. Um, and we're, today we're going to talk about the insects and the bugs and the other critters that are out uh, this time of year. Um, I, I know probably like me, you've been noticing a lot of those things around if you've been spending some time outside. Um, so we're gonna explore around here in the yard, maybe walk, walk in the, down the street a little bit and see what we can discover. Of course, they're living creatures, so we never know. They're a little harder to track down sometimes than the plants. Um, but there's some really cool, interesting things going on. Um, if you're not unfamiliar, the study of insects is called entomology. Um, so you're probably familiar if you're watching this video with the idea of what phonology is, but entomology is the study of bugs. Now I am not an entomologist um, by any stretch, but I do spend a lot of time um, in my work looking at bugs and helping people identify them. And so hopefully we'll walk around and find some cool things that are happening this time of year. Uh... For our insect phonology adventure today, I had my two favorite assistants with me, Ella and Mateo, and they were helping me to discover what different insects and other bugs we could find as we walk through our neighborhood. So this is just a vine maple tree, which is a really common tree that we find around here. And what we discovered was as soon as the sun came out, especially the parts that were getting hit by the sun, are just full of honeybees and bumblebees and other bees. I don't know if you can see those around, but there's one. But so keep your eyes on the maple trees if you have any in your neighborhood because they really are just yeah. covered with bees. These little flowers, they don't bloom for a long time, but these little flowers, the bees must really bite. All right, so we went on a little walk in the neighborhood here. We've got a nice little trail that really small, but it just goes through a little section of, of forest and there's a little stream in there. Um, and the sun is out, which is really nice. When you're looking for, for bugs and for insects, um, you're gonna see a lot more on a sunny day than on a rainy day. When on a rainy day, probably most of your luck is gonna be looking under stuff. On a sunny day, things will be out and flying around and visiting flowers. Um, and so we got kind of lucky today. We're gonna look around and see what we can find. Another interesting thing we found up in this same vine maple tree that we saw the bees in is a snail. It's about six feet up the tree. We've had a little bit of rain recently, so when it rains, they'll all come out and you'll see them on the sidewalks and everything else. But when the, when the rain goes away, so you'll find them hit a little more hidden, but this one is in a very interesting spot. Of course, as I mentioned, if it's not a sunny day, you can always look under things. So be very gentle. Make sure you put things back where they came from. But oh, look. Couple of millipedes on there. Let's see how do you see the millipedes? Uh, have us. We're gonna leave them where they're at and then turn their home back really gently. And there's stuff like this. Oh, you'll see there's a little wood louse moving. Sometimes they're called potato bugs. Um, some of them roll up into balls and we call those roly polies. Um, but they're all kind of closely related. Um, actually, in the crustacean family, the same family as crabs and things like that. found one of our most common spring insects that starts to emerge this time of year. You might see a bunch swarmed on your house. Sometimes there, there's a lot of them together. This one's just all by itself. Um, but this is a ladybug, um, or some places they call them ladybirds. Uh, there's lots of different common names, like I said, for lots of different insects. Um, the larva of the ladybug is actually really, really different. It looks like this little, little spiky, kind of scary little critter. Um, but we then know them best as in their adult stage as the little friendly um, ladybugs. So we're going to set this one free. See if they can bite you. All right, this is a really cool discovery here. This here is a mound of the western thatching ant. And you'll see all of that activity happening. So that's just starting. The first, this is the first one I've seen this year, this spring. 
These mounds you might see along the side of the road sometimes, or if you're walking through the forest, you might see a big mound of just kind of looks like dead grass. Um, and that is the Western thatching ant. They cut, you can see, you might be able to see in the video of them moving around little pieces of grass. Uh, and they're actually gonna build their mound out of that and then live inside of it. Thatching ant eat insects and also form aphids. Their mouths can even be up to two to three feet tall. One cool feature we have in our neighborhood too is a retention pond or a detention pond. Uh, and that's just a place that's meant to hold storm water. So when it's rainy, uh, the water is collected there so that other places like creeks and other bodies of water don't flood. But they're really great places if they're not fenced in, like this one's not fenced in here. Um, if you've got a small fishing net and maybe a little dish tray or another little white tray, you can just go to the edges, be really careful, make sure you have an adult with you and you're, you have some supervision. But you can scoop into the water and um, there's all kinds of fun aquatic bugs and insects that live in the water. And there's a lot of them that are starting to emerge this time of year, dragonflies and damselflies and a lot of other really cool things that are happening. So even if you don't have a net, you can always go down along the edge and just observe and see some of those things.